You're diagnosed with a cardiac arrhythmia, and your cardiologist starts you on a blood thinner. Do you have to stay on this blood thinner for life? This is an issue that we have to deal with frequently with patients with cardiac arrhythmias and blood thinners. Stay tuned as we address this problem next. Welcome back to Montgomery Heart and Wellness. We have another clinical round for you today. And today we are in clinic and Camille just saw a patient that decided to step away and share some information with you about it. It's a 50-year-old man who was diagnosed with a cardiac arrhythmia. And he was started on a blood thinner on anticoagulant. And the question that we're having to address is does he have to stay on this anticoagulant for life? So can you tell you know, the audience about this patient? Yes, so he came here for a second opinion partially on this diagnosis he was given of atrial fibrillation two years ago. And one day back then, he had mistakenly taken two doses, two injections of Ozimbic. And we know some side effects of that can really disrupt the gastrointestinal system. He became very nauseated, vomited a lot, was losing a lot of electrolytes and fluid and had to go to the emergency room. And it was there they saw he was in an arrhythmia. And he wasn't quite clear, but we looked and found that it was atrial fibrillation. And you know, he was in the hospital for several days being rehydrated and having his electrolytes corrected. They got the arrhythmia under control once that he was put in metabolic balance. Mm -hmm. And so he saw a cardiologist who started him on an anticoagulant. And now uh, he's followed very closely by his cardiologist for what, a number of months or years? or For two years. And he, he had two 30 day heart monitors placed to follow up on the arrhythmia. And they never captured any atrial fibrillation or other significant tachyarrhythmias, but he was kept on the Eliquis because of that one episode and like it could have been kept on that too because of his elevated chad bass score but the patient has hypertension type 2 diabetes obesity and other things can affect the risk of blood clotting and stroke not just technically the arrhythmia itself so the chad bass score is kind of a calculation system where we look at patients age gender if they've had a stroke if they have arterial disease like heart attack, peripheral artery disease, the diabetes, the blood pressure, all these factors to come up with a number. And the higher the number, the higher risk they are of a stroke. So the, the stroke isn't just due to an arrhythmia itself. It's due to the risk factors that cause inflammation in the first place. And we know that individuals can have an arrhythmia if their body is acutely metabolically compromised. Right. So if we were to make you, let's say you don't have any heart issues or medical problems, but we were to give you something to make you profoundly ill, you vomited, your electrolytes went, became abnormal, etc. you can go into cardiac arrhythmia just based on the metabolic compromise because the heart is going to react to that abnormal electrical circuitry and the abnormal milieu of electrolyte depletion. Mm -hmm. And so the electrical circuitry won't work properly, but once you correct that, then the heart will then beat normally. So someone in that situation is not at risk for repeated episodes of atrial fibrillation. Now, he has a, a significant difference in somebody who's completely normal because he has other risk factors, diabetes, high blood pressure, and those are risk factors for a structurally abnormal atrium. So the question is, do we stop the anticoagulant in him or not? And, and my thinking, and, and again, Camille and I were talking about this, uh, I'm inclined to stop it, not immediately, but stop it once we've done several things. One, we will put him on an aggressive lifestyle pattern to change his condition of high blood pressure, diabetes, or obesity. Now, do I think that he has chronic atrial fibrillation? I think his episode of atrial fibrillation was due to that episode, and it was reversible by correcting his electrolytes. Mm -hmm. However, if he continues to have high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity, he's at risk for developing per chronic persistent atrial fibrillation over time. So he's a situation where we can reduce his chad vas score to essentially one, mm -hmm. maybe zero, yeah. given his age, and then he doesn't have a structured abnormal heart to the point where he's going to be at risk for more atrial fibrillation. So here's someone, in my opinion, that has a great chance for coming off the anticoagulant. Yeah, I definitely agree, and, you know, I hope we can do that, and, you know, we see people reverse 
the hypertension, diabetes all the time. So when we implement that, then yeah, we definitely should take them off the eloquent. Yeah. So what we want to do is share with you the concept of how we make decisions with blood thinners. It's not always cut and dry, yes forever, no forever. Individuals who have a mechanical heart valve, well, yes, they have to send a, a blood thinner throughout the duration of the life of the mechanical heart valve. Mm -hmm. In other conditions, you can make the similar argument. So it's always a judgment call, and one has to weigh the potential chronicity of the problem that requires the blood thinner in the first place. In the case of the, case of the heart valve, mechanical heart valve, that person is going to live with that heart valve for the rest of their life, so the anticoagulants can be for the rest of the life. In some situation, we have a transient problem and we think that that problem can be resolved over time, then the use of the anticoagulant doesn't have to be for the rest of their life. So, any other thoughts? No, I agree with everything you said. Good. So, I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. If you got value out of this video, please like it, subscribe, and hit the notification button.